possibly one of the coolest features in Gmail is plus addressing. It's something that's not available anywhere else as far as I'm aware. On Outlook or Office 365 you cannot use this technique but it's very powerful and it's very useful. So what is plus addressing? Essentially it gives you unlimited emails all on one account and you don't have to have admin or IT set it up for you. It's available for you and you can use it whenever you want or wherever the will takes you. But why would you want to use it? Well, it's good for things like newsletters. So for example, you could put your name plus newsletter and that means that you could always regularly and reliably filter it by simply looking for plus newsletter in the email address. Temporary signups, things that you're not sure about yet that you might want to just register for and then discard because you know that they're going to send you lots of spammy email afterwards. That's a good way of dealing with these kind of things. Uh, so like I say, disposable addresses. You can also use them in combination with labels and filters to uh, very reliably be able to actually filter them, put labels on them or create and do other actions with them as well. So how does it work? Well, my email address is duncan at 65.com.au and if I wanted to create an address, I simply put plus and the word that I want after Duncan and before the at sign. So I could create one called Duncan plus just for today at 65.com.au. And when you don't want it anymore, what you can do is, you, well, you stop using it, right? I mean, you can use it once, you can use it many times on different things, but you simply just stop using it. Uh, you create a filter to do that. And now you can do this, you know, if it's like newsletters, well, you do the same thing here, right? You'd create a filter with two and Duncan at plus just for today at 65.com.au. Then you click on the create a filter button. And in this case, because I'm finished using it, I'm going to tick delete it and I'm going to click create filter. So anything new that comes in is going to go straight to the bin and then uh, the trash will delete itself after 30 days or a rolling 30 days. If you wanted to do something else with it, like apply a label, absolutely, you could do that. So like I say, in the newsletters scenario, you could tag everything with newsletters. It might be a reading list. It might be the things that you spend half an hour every morning just having a read through because it's for pleasure or education or whatever it might be. It makes things really easy to find. So that's how you uh, use plus addressing in Gmail.